Dearly once beloved, we have gathered here today to dissolve the relationship between Roxanne Dunn and Max Leonard. Now, I ask that each of you be civil and receptive to your soon-to-be ex-partners. For once, you're not consumed by your literature, so this shouldn't be too hard for you, Max. Just try to remain civil, off the clock, Officer Dunn. That's Chief of Security Dunn to you. Okay, okay, let's not get off on the wrong foot. Let's take a deep breath. Now, who would like to go first? Okay, uh, how about Max? Of course you'd pick Max. I guess your sister of 25 years is just chopped liver then. Uh, I'm not the one on trial here, sis. Max, if it's all the same, would you mind? Let's start with Roxanne. Okay, Max, go ahead. <clears throat> Roxanne, it's been a fun seven and a half months, but the tsunami of our love has crested and crashed upon the shores of reality and needs. We have not celebrated our bodies in almost two months, and by God, a man has needs. Woe betide the unemployed erotic novelist with your unattainable sexual fantasies. I am a freelancer! <clears throat> and selfpublished.net is doing wonders for me. Two agents have met with me just yesterday. Do you even hear yourself speak? That BA in history is just withering away, like the flower of our love. At least I have a degree. By the way, sick burn. Okay, yeah, uh, let's remember the rules. Uh, let's keep it Civil, what's your beef, sis? <sighs> Max, I wish it didn't have to come to this, but you need to get a job. I can't be the breadwinner for the both of us, and the least you could do is talk to me for once without demanding sex in exchange. I am a writer. I cannot stop writing to hear you opine about some teenager you help stop stealing keychains from the bookstore. <gasps> you don't care about my career. You don't care about my career. What career? Do either of you guys have an idea of how to salvage this relationship whatsoever? And does anyone in the near vicinity have any objection to these two separating emotionally? I think the sun is set on us, Max. That's beautiful, Roxy. By the power vested in me by the brother, best friend Bond, I hereby dissolve the relationship. You may trade the boxes. Here something to remember me by. Your favorite one. You be careful out there, Maxie, now that you don't have a mall cop to protect you. But, but, but this is the, the gun. That took down the food court bandit. Yeah. I now pronounce you ex-girlfriend and ex-boyfriend. You may now slap the five.